<laughs> Hello. 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 We're the Avalar family, and as you can see, we're big fans of the 2020 World Series champions. Dodgers! The Dodgers! Dodgers! Dodgers. 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 Dodgers! This is. Daniela. This is. Eduardo. This is. ¿Cómo te llamas? Jorjito. Jorge. Jorge. Jorjito. <laughs> and I'm big Jorge. Today, we want to show you one of our prize collections. Our big, complete collection of. Our bobbleheads. Super fine. We're gonna show you one by one. The bobbleheads are in our staircase coming up to our apartment. And we want to showcase them so we can show them off, show you all our bobbleheads. Let's start from the bottom, one for one. Ta da! We could show you from bottom to top of the bobbleheads. I'm sorry, sir. To pass here, you will need a license. There are exclusive bobbleheads up there. <laughs> all right, we're going to start with all the bobbleheads, not just from 2020, but all the stadium giveaway or the SGA bobbleheads the Dodgers have given over the last 20 years, starting in 2001. These are not in any particular order. These are put up on the wall and we'll try to go through them one by one and give you a little bit something on each each player. Say go Dodgers! Go Dodgers! Alright, starting with the familiar face. Everybody who's a Dodger fan will know who this is. Clayton Kershaw! Three times Cy Young winner, MVP, and most importantly, World Series champion. Up here, we have a guy that you would not normally associate with the Dodgers. That's Babe Ruth. Yep, the Bambino was actually a, a player coach for the Dodgers at the latter end of his career. He retired as a Dodger, so the Dodgers gave him a bobblehead as well. Eduardo, can you tell us who this is? That is Adrian Gonzalez. I, I was at the stadium when his last home run happened. All right, number 23, Adrian. Jorjito, who's this? Who was that? Cody Bellinger. Absolutely. There he is. Uh, one of his first bobbleheads. I'm not sure which year this one. Probably from 2018. There's Cody Bellinger. Before he became a Rookie of the Year, before he became an MVP, there was Cody. Daniela, who's this red bearded dude over here? Uh, I don't know. I think his last name was like Turner or something like that. Justin Turner. The selfie right there with Adrian. They used to do this thing. After every home run, they would take a selfie. So there it is, the selfie series one and two. JT and Adrian Gonzalez. Eduardo, do you know who the Dodgers manager is right now? Yes, it's Dave Roberts. Yep, and he won the Manager of the Year award, I think it was in 2016. So the Dodgers gave him this bobblehead to commemorate that. And back in, was it the late 70s, early 80s? I think it was the late 70s. Dodgers had the first quartet of teammates that all hit at least 30 home runs. There they are. Steve Garvey, Dusty Baker, Reggie Smith, and Ron Say. So they have a a four-in-one bobblehead. And then there was Clayton Kershaw's best friend on the team for a few years, his former personal catcher, A.J. Ellis. Anela, who's this rookie of the year holding a silver bat? Corey Seager. Corey Seager. NLCS MVP now and World Series MVP. And back in the day in Brooklyn, and even the first couple of years in Los Angeles, the Dodgers had a magnificent first baseman, and he should be in the Hall of Fame. He isn't yet. Hopefully one day that wrong gets righted. That's Gil Hodges, number 14, Dodger legend. Who's the closer for the Dodgers, Eduardo? John Lee Jansen. Number 74. That might have been his first bobblehead that they gave. Number 74 right there. He looks much younger than he does now with the short hair. And there's Kike. Kike hit three home runs in game, I want to say game five. Was it game six? Game five at NLCS in 2017 to beat the Cubs. So the Dodgers commemorated his three home run game in that playoff game with this bobblehead. What else can you tell us about your favorite player, Eduardo? What did he win with the glove? He won a, a gold glove, which is 
in which is a glove that says it speaks that you're a good um, outfielder or infielder. It doesn't matter. The best you fielder. The best first baseman. Yep, the best that fielder at his so position in the league. The golden glove. Yep. And here's another guy that you don't really associate with the Dodgers. You associate him with the damn Giants. But he did come over here and play two years with the Dodgers. Uh, his first year was magnificent. He was awesome. So the Dodgers signed him to an extra year. And then that second year, he faded. And I don't think he's been heard of him ever since. The beard, Brian Wilson. All right, moving on. We'll try to do it a little faster because we got a lot of bobbleheads to go. Earl Hershiser, Earl Hershiser. There's your 1988 NL Cy Young winner. And NLCS MVP. And NLCS or, or World Series MVP. And when I was growing up, one of my favorite players, Oral Hershiser. Just above him, you have another former Dodger ace, Fernando Valenzuela, El Toro. Fernando was awesome. Fernando Mania and everything. I don't need to go through that. Everybody that knows about the Dodgers knows about Fernando. And I should say, as a Mexican family, when I was growing up in the 80s, I saw a lot of Dodger games with Fernando pitching because he was the idol. And there's Tommy. Tommy Lasorda. Dodger manager, Hall of Famer. Oh, you know what? He used to be a Dodger pitcher also, albeit briefly. And there you have his bobblehead from his playing days. Andre Ethier, the walk-off king back in like 2009 or so. Ethier was awesome for the, quite a few Dodger teams that won the, the division also. Unfortunately, they didn't make it farther than the playoffs, but there he is. Hey, we already saw one bobblehead from this guy. Here he is again. Clayton Kershaw with two Cy Youngs down there. That's when he won his second Cy Young. You'll notice there are more Kershaw bobbleheads than any other player here. I think in total there are seven Kershaw bobbleheads that have been given away the most of any player. Don Sutton, Dodger pitching legend. He is number one in a lot of the Dodger pitching categories, including most games won, most strikeouts by a pitcher, I think most complete games. There's Don Sutton. Zach Greinke, he and Kershaw formed an awesome one-two punch. Too bad he left to go play with the D-backs, but he was great while he was here for three or four years. And there's Big Nuke, Don Newcomb, one of the greatest Dodger pitchers in the Brooklyn days. And he just died about a year ago. He was always at Dodger Stadium. Awesome Dodger right there, Don Nuke. And another awesome Dodger, Big D. Don Drysdale formed a great one-two punch with also the great Sandy Koufax. This one bobblehead, actually, I should mention this. This bobblehead is the one bobblehead out of this whole collection that is not a, an SGA bobblehead. This one was only given to season ticket holders or something like that. It was a special promo, but it was so cool I had to buy it on the side and, and add it to the SGA collection. Sandy Koufax. All right, and there's a Spanish voice of the Dodgers right there, Jaime Jarrín. There's, there's Jaime right there, just below him. One of the very, very first bobbleheads that was given out, Tommy Lasorda. Back in 2001, the Dodgers started giving out these uh, individualized or personalized bobbleheads. The first three were Tommy Lasorda, Dodger manager, Kurt Gibson, 1988 legend with the Dodgers with his home run, and Fernando once again. Those were the first three bobbleheads the Dodgers gave out. Up here, we have a throwback Andre Ethier bobblehead with the old uniform the Dodgers used every once in a while back in Brooklyn, the light sky blue Dodger. And there's a, the English voice of the Dodger, the GOAT, greatest of all time, Vince Scully, back in his younger days. Here we have one of the highest touted, highly touted prospects the Dodgers had, Matt Kemp. He had an awesome ceiling. He was great, but he never quite became the greatest of all time with the Dodgers as we expected. And he moved on and he's played with other teams since then. And there's another one from the greatest of all time, Vin Scully, the voice of the Dodgers. All right, here's another legend, hey, most valuable hey, player, hey. 1988. I think we need to go a little bit faster or I think we'll be here all night. There's only like 100 left. Oh, oh. Let's go faster. Kurt Gibson, walk off home run. He was awesome. Lalo, who's that? That is Corey Seager. A rookie right there. That was Hanley Ramirez, the ICU bobblehead. Daniela, who's this? That is Clayton Kershaw. A very young Clayton Kershaw. And this was my favorite player growing up, Mike Sosha, awesome Dodger catcher. 
We have another Matt Kemp. When he scores after hitting the home run, he would always point to the sky. There's another catcher, Russell Martin. And then, this one's a little bit high for me. I have to move up. Fernando Mania, right there. Sandy Koufax, another one. EK, Eric Carros, the Dodgers captain in the late mid to late 90s, right there. All-time LA Dodger home run leader. Eduardo, who's this? Hey, you can't just steal my favorite Gonzalez. player. That is Adrian Gonzalez, awesome hitter and first baseman. Yep. I, I, and then I, CT3, Chris Taylor, World Series champion, by the CT3. way. CT3. And other World Series champions right here back in 1962, which they didn't win the World Series that year. They, they made it to a tiebreaker with the damn Giants and lost. But they won the World Series the next year and two years after that in 63 and 65. Don Drysdale, Maury Wells. And there, another World Series champion, Oral Hershiser. That was commemorating the 30th year anniversary of his 59 consecutive scoreless streak. Up there, we have Yasiel Puig. Another one from the great Nuke, Don Newcomb. Who's this? Corey Seager. All right, two silver bats right there given to the best batter at his position in each league. And then Sandy Koufax commemorating his perfect game with the scoreboard back there. All zeros on the cup side. And awesome manager right there, making it to the Hall of Fame, Tommy Lastorda. Maury Wells sliding into second. The mouse that roared. Who's this? Um, he just closed out the World Series. Urias. Julio Urias. Julio Urias. Culichi. <laughs> and there's Vin. We love Vin. We miss him so much. Although Joe Davis does an awesome job. But we all miss Vince Scully. Oh, look at that. Cody Bellinger. There's Cody. There's <laughs> Toby. And then... Justin Turner. All right. The unofficial captain of the L.A. Dodgers. And we hope he comes back for 2021. Manny Moda. Greatest pinch hitter in Dodgers history. Kenley Carlician. This is a special bobble hit that was made. With Star Wars theme for Kenley Jansen. Hey, another one. There's two JT Turners. Or JTs. And another Kershaw. This time he's batting. Commemorating the home run that he hit. Remember that? When he hit a home run opening yeah. day against the Giants? Yeah. That was awesome. To break a, a scoreless sure. tie. Seventh or eighth inning at Dodger Stadium. There's one of the Dodger owners. Magic Johnson. Rafael Furcal. Played with the Dodgers. Mid-2000s. Vintage Kershaw, another Kirk Gibson with the walk-off home run. Dusty Baker, one of the coolest guys around. He was a Dodger in the late 70s, early 80s, World Series champion 81. Adrian, JT again. Another Sandy Koufax. I think we can take our time on Adrian Gonzalez. Yes. <laughs> There's the Garve, Steve Garve, World Series champion 1981. Matt Kemp robbing a home run. There's a World Series champion from 2020, Walker Bueller. What you? Max Muncy, another champion. Let me get a stool to get up there. All right, there's Hideo Nomo, the Hurricane. Sensation from Japan, 1995 Rookie of the Year. Cesar Isturiz, great with the glove, cold glove winner. And then we have Takashi Saito. He was a Dodger closer for a while. Over here we have Fred McGriff. He only played here one, maybe two years. John the Ox Broxton. Jonathan Broxton. Brian Jordan. Another one from Magic Johnson. Dodger owner, Laker legend. There's a big nuke. Don Newcomb. And Manny Ramirez. This night they gave out his bobblehead and he wasn't playing. He was on the bench. Well, Dodgers loaded the bases and they had him pinch hit. On the first pitch, he hit a grand slam home run. That was awesome excitement in the stadium that night. And I should say, that night that he hit the Grand Slam, Daniela was just a baby, and everybody was going crazy, and we had to cover her ears because she was going to get scared from all the noise. But you know what? You got to teach them early. <laughs> teach them early, teach them right. That's how you get them to be big Dodger fans. Joe Torre, Dodger manager for a little while. Duke Snyder, greatest home run hitter in Dodger history. Powerful lefty. Mostly from the Brooklyn days, but also played here for one or two years with the L.A. Dodgers. And then Don Mattingly, he was a manager here for a few years. 
won a few division championships. Moving on, there's Vince Scully. Again. Curtain call for Manny Ramirez. They gave him this bobblehead after the awesome things he did when they gave him this bobblehead. And he gave a curtain call after the Grand Slam, so they had to make a bobblehead out of that. Yeah. Yasiel Puig making a diving catch. Two Hall of Fame managers right there. The only two managers to win a World Series with the Dodgers until this year. Doc Roberts joined them. There's that man again. Clayton Kershaw. Oh, that Matt Kemp. <laughs> the Penguin. Ron Say. <laughs> There's the great infield. Ron Say, Bill Russell, Davey Lopes, and Steve Garvey. Speaking of the Garve, there's Steve Garvey. Steve Gravy. Eric Gagne. Bienvenue, Michel Gagne. What? There's Eric Gagne after he won the Cy Young Award. They gave him another oh, bobblehead wow. the next year in the great visiting uni. Dad, you're in big danger right now. Casey Blake, third baseman the Dodgers acquired from the Indians back in the day. Here are some bigger size bobbleheads that don't fit in a regular box. I had to get a big display case for these. Uh, first one, Roy Campanella with Pee Wee Reese that night at the Coliseum. Behind them, if we can get a glimpse of it, are the tri-MVPs of the 1981 World Series. Pedro Guerrero, Steve Yeager, and Ron Say. We have a microphone for Vince Scully right there as well. These bobbleheads right here, we have Jock Peterson, Alex Wood, and Juan Uribe. And on the next one, you can see Kenta, Kenta Maeda, Hanjin Ryu, who actually um, just finished second and third for AL Cy Young Award the year after they left the Dodgers. That's how deep the Dodgers pitching is. They gave up two pitchers, and they were second and third in the AL Cy Young voting. And over there, we can see Kenley Jansen. There's Fernando. And not only was he a great pitcher, he was a great batter. Paul LaDuca, Dodger catcher. Sean Green. And who's this? Cody Bellinger. This bobblehead's awesome. And this bobblehead they gave him away, gave these away. Uh, game one of the NLDS 2019 playoffs. That's pretty special. All the other bobbleheads are from regular season. This one from, was from the playoffs. Andre Ethier again. That was from the last year before he retired. Daniela, who's this? That's Kike Hernandez. Kike. Okay, Super <laughs> utility player. Hopefully he'll be back 2021. He's a free agent. There's the third Dodger manager to ever win the World Series, Dave Roberts. Fernando Valenzuela. And this one, Manny Machado, he moved on. He's with the Padres now, so we'll move on as well. Hey, guess what? That guy's still with the Dodgers. We're very happy to have him. Cody Bellinger, 2019 NL MVP. Alex Verdugo. He, he's in Boston now. We gave him up, and we're sorry to see him go. But we got Mookie Betts, so he, you just can't argue with that. Mookie Betts is Mookie Betts. Rich Hill, lefty pitcher. And there's Tom Lasorda giving a motivational speech. James Loney, good first baseman. That is Kelly Jansen. Once again, ah, see, that now we recognize him with the dreadlocks and, and the beard. Brad Penny. He was here for a while. Han Chi Kuo from Taiwan. First Taiwanese player to make it to the major leagues, I believe. Hideo Nomo. Speaking of Asian pitchers, Hideo Nomo. Technically, he was the second Japanese to play in the major leagues, but the first one in about 50 years, and he was awesome. Joe Kelly. Joe Kelly. What do you guys remember the most about Joe Kelly from this year? I actually don't. Do you remember? Let me see. The face that he made against the Astros. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what we're going to remember most about Joe Kelly. Yes. And then, who's that? Corey Seager, MVP of this year. MVP of the World Series. In case you didn't hear before. <laughs> yep. Fernando Mania. Excuse me, guys. Let me keep moving up. Jeff Kent. Again, he was really more a giant and a Met and a... I don't know if he played for the Indians. And everything but else. He was, retired as a Dodger, so we have his bobblehead. He head. was more pink. Howie Kendrick, really, he's an angel. Joe Baimo, they had a, a a vote to see who would get the last bobblehead that year, and even though Baimo was more of a uh, one of those fringe guys, you wouldn't expect the Dodgers to make a bobblehead out of him. But the fans voted him in. I guess they wanted to see his his hair, how he came out in the bobblehead. It's a pretty cool bobblehead. 
and commemorating a no hitter. What's a no hitter, guys? Um, it's when they do not let them hit throughout the whole game. When well, they pitch and nobody gets a hit off. Complete game. Nobody got a hit off of Kershaw against the Rockies. This was the fifth year anniversary of his no hitter. Should have been a perfect game, except there was an error by Hanny Ramirez in the eighth inning. Great game, though. JT Justin Turner. And there's Noma. Noma Garcia Parra. Now he's an analyst for the Dodgers. He was a great shortstop, mostly with the Boston Red Sox, but he did play out two, two or three years with the Dodgers. And to finish it off, Chase Utley. Chase Utley. He came over here in a trade from the Phillies. He was a great role model for the younger guys. Great work ethic. Remember to take care of your bobbleheads so they don't end up with sunburns. Yeah, some of these are discolored. Some of them are either too pink or too faded because they've been out here in the sun for too long. But you know what? They're doing a great job up here. Showing off the Dodger pride. Say bye, guys. Bye.